I'm Keith Baxter from West Point Veterinary Group and in this short film we're going to look at how to take a sample of bacteriology and what we do with it afterwards. The ability to take an uncontaminated milk sample from a cow is very important to enable informed decisions in mastitis management. Before we start, let's look at handling the sample bottling during the sampling process. This is very important to avoid contamination without a falling and a spoiling result. If right-handed, curl your right little finger around the top of the bottle, unscrew and hold the bottle flat between your finger and thumb. If the cow's teats are very dirty, wash in warm water and thoroughly dry. This cow's teats are fairly clean, so first, wearing new disposable gloves, strip a few squirts onto the floor. This is to flush out any bacteria lurking in the teat end. Next, take an alcoholic teat wipe, such as the proper pet wipe used here, and thoroughly clean the teat end. When it looks clean, use another wipe and repeat the procedure. Strip another few squirts to remove any disinfectant which may have got into the tea tin during the cleaning process. Uncap the bottle as described earlier. Hold the bottle flat and without touching the bottle with the tea end, draw three squirts of milk. This is plenty, and the small sample reduces the opportunity for contamination to occur. Finally, label the sample with the farm name, the cow number and the quarter, and dispatch to the laboratory. Let's have a look at the laboratory processes. On receipt, a technician will streak the sample onto a sterile bacteriology plate. These are plastic dishes containing different gels in which different types of bacteria will grow to provide a visible change the following day. The plates are incubated overnight at 37 degrees centigrade. The following day they are inspected for bacterial growth. This is a Staph aureus plate. The yellow spots are individual colonies which are grown on the plate. This is an E. coli. This is a contaminated milk sample with lots of different bacteria and is useless for analysis. Further tests may be carried out to determine the exact species of bacteria involved. The latest addition to our laboratory is a PCR machine. This has several advantages over conventional culture. It can detect certain mastitis bacteria in a sample, even if none have grown on culture, or if the cow has already been treated with antibiotics. We can also look for Mycoplasma bovis, which does not grow on conventional culture plates. Bacterial DNA is extracted from a milk sample, and then is then multiplied in the PCR machine to a level that can be identified using complex computer analysis. This will then provide a readout for the technician to identify the species of bacteria involved. If you would like more information, why not visit our website or pick up the phone. Thank you for watching.